Hi, I'm Cody at Misty Robotics, and I run the manufacturing line. Today, we'll be assembling your Misty One and getting it started. Here's everything that you will get with your Misty One package. You'll get a power supply, a USB to Ethernet adapter, a FTDI cable for debugging, and a battery and two wings. And the tools that you will need for assembling the Misty One, just a simple Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so to get started on assembling your Misty One, what we'll do is actually remove the logo plate. So it has two M3 by six bolts right here. We'll just simply get that out and you'll want to hold your logo plate back just in case it falls forward. Put these in a special place, remove your logo plate and set it aside for later because we'll be remounting it. Then we'll take our battery and plug it in two locations. We'll plug that in. And then the battery management connection right here. And they will be located on Misty's right side. And then we'll want to place the battery inside her structure between the right and middle plates. And then tuck the batteries back in so that way it lines up nicely with the structure. The next step that we'll want to do is to actually mount the wings back on. They have two latches right there. Rest it on the, her structure and her chassis. We'll take this and just do it on the other side. Boom. Get our logo plate, set it on, and kind of rest it on the LED. Then we'll take our M3x6 bolts that we saved and plug it back in. And just do a nice uh, hand tighten. You don't want to go too crazy on this. Just hold that in so that way the wings don't pop off or anything. Now the last thing that we'll want to do is to plug in the occipital USB-C cable. So it's located right here and then you'll want to fully insert that inside the structure core. Go until you hear the click. And there we go. We're ready for Misty to be started. So, we can go back here, and here is the switch, and here is the battery voltmeter. So we'll press on, and if it doesn't come on, that's totally fine. What we'll do is we'll take our power supply. We already have one plugged in. Turn it on. And there we go. We can see that Misty is turning on. We can hear all of her functions. And one thing that we'll want to do is that battery isn't charging right now. It's not going past this level. So what we'll want to do is unplug the power supply, plug it back in. We can notice that it'll start to rise and start to charge the battery. Next thing that we'll look for are her eyes. So you can see she's opening her eyes and that means she's waiting to fully boot up. And so we'll wait. This is her boot up process and it's waiting for the 820 to fully come online. Once her eyes are fully up, we'll be ready to use Misty. Once Misty's eyes are fully open, the setup process is complete, she's ready to be connected to the Home Companion app. To learn how to do that, check out the links in the description below. If you have any further questions, visit us on our forums.